Napanood mo na ba ang That Thing Called Tadhana? October 2018, her first in-person visit to Sagada. Ang lugar kung saan na-formulate ang pangalan ng aming munting kalikasan. Anniversary climb ng aming hiking group sa Mount Fatu. The sun is rising high. And Mount Kupapay. As I walk on by Side trip to Mainit Hot Spring and school outreach to Ginaang Elementary School. So after a weekend full of adventures, since gala kaming pamilya, we decided to why not overnight to Sagada. From one talk, less than two hours road trip to the scenic mountainous view to Sagada. Welcome back to Sagada, ang lugar kung saan punong-puno ng outdoor activities. After lunch na kami dumating sa Sagada from Bundok, dito kami nag-stay sa Ganduyan Inn. Every visit namin dito, dito kami nag-stay. Parang this is our second home. Alam mo ba kung bakit? Malapit sa lahat. Sa terminal, sa tourism office, at ito ang pinakamura sa lahat na inn. Sulit na sulit ang 300 per head with common CR and restaurant pa sa baba. April 2017, naun niyang punta dito, pero two months old pa lang sa satsan ko noon. Dito ko first naranasan ng pagsusaka. Hay, mga panahon na wala pa siyang kamuang sa mundo. Fast forward, 10 months old ka na bata Ang reason talaga na sa side trip dito Ay para makita niya ng personal ang sagada Parang courtesy ko kung baga kay mayor But kidding aside As parents we want to integrate nature To nurture her development through sensory experiences Kasi nga ang first 3 years of life Are critical period for child's brain development So anyways Back to sagada First time din na aming kaibigan Shout out sa iyo kan Bernasar Birthday gala mo to Pagdating, kailangan mo mag-register sa tourism office by the environmental fee, then book your guided tours. Yes, lahat na tours dapat may local tour guide. So, tipid tip number one, maging joiner sa group para may kahati ka sa tour guide and tour fees. Pili ka lang sa mga tours na gusto mo and syempre, depende kung ilang araw ka. Gusto mo silitin lahat ng activities, maglaan ka ng 5 days. Certified, I survive sa gada ka na. Si Sovereignet lang naman kami after ng registration na walking tour dito sa Main Street and window shopping sa mga pasalubong centers. Dito din ang way going to one of the Hanging Coffins, Burial Caves and Cave Explorations like Sumaging Cave and Lumyang Cave. deck ng isang hanging coffin.
Pasensya, malayo, hindi na higip ni GoPro. Then, dinner sa isang restaurant, medyo pricey lang talagang pagkain dito. Kaya, magdala ng extra cash. After that, we call it a day. Kasi, kinabukasan 4am ang call time namin sa Sunrise Watching to the famous Kelty Pan. Good morning! Welcome to the famous Kelty Pan Peak. Tip number 3, as the locals, meron ibang tour na pwede DIY lang, tato na dito sa Kaltipan Peak. So from Ganduyan in 4.30am, nag-start na kami ng morning walk. After more or less than 1 hour, tadahan! No clearing, balot na balot na clouds but still enjoying the scene. Pag nasa group tour ka, included na ang jeepney ride to the peak. Ang tandaan, first come first serve ang spot dito. Tipid tip number 4, bring food. Pwede kayo mag-breakfast dito or kung may dala kayong food, mas memorable pag nag-breakfast picnic kayo under the pine trees. One hour after, walking tour na naman balik sa homestay. Mas recommended ko to para mas ma-enjoy nyo ang countryside feel ng Sagada. Immersion as they say. Mabubusog naman kayo sa kagandahan ng paligid, sa pine trees, malamig at mabangong simoy ng hangin. Ayan, balik homestay na kami, nakapag-freshen up na din, then start na tayo ng guided tour. Balik tourism office na naman tayo para magparegister sa tour. Sightseeing tour ang pinili namin para makapasok sa The Famous Hanging Coffin, Cemetery, and Echo Valley. You love like you didn't care. Ready ka na ba sa guided tour? Tara, sama ka na! First stop, St. Mary the Virgin Church Built in 1907, the main Episcopal Church in Sagada Anglican ang major religion dito 
Ito ang itsura sa loob. Second stop, public cemetery. Yes, isang main attraction dito. Bakit? Hindi lang dahil maganda ang tanawin dito, kundi dito din nilibing ang dalawa sa Mama Sapano Fallen Soldiers. Ito din ang naging modern cemetery nila. Dito din dadaan papuntang Echo Valley. Welcome to the famous Echo Valley. Dito ang rock climbing area nila. Then, the hanging coffins, the signature of Sagada. Ito ay isang second place. Sayang lang may wooden problem si GoPro. Hindi nyo marinig ang history behind the hanging coffin. So, share ko na lang sa inyo. As per guide, I couldn't believe that a person should depart the same way he entered the world. When someone dies, pigs and chickens are traditionally butchered for community celebration. The disease is then placed on a wooden chair tied with rattan and vines then covered with blanket. Cadaver is smoked to prevent fast decomposition and to conceal the rotten smell. Vigil is then held for a number of days. Before being taken to the burial, it is secured in a fetal position and wrapped like a basketball. Mourners do their best to grab and carry it because they believe it is good luck to be smeared with a dead's blood. They hung their coffins, believing that it will bring closer to their ancestral spirit and likewise safe from the animals. So, that's it. That wraps up our Sagada Overnight Adventure. If you want more stories like this, we'd greatly appreciate if you can give us a like, share to benefit others, and subscribe for more family hiking, backpacking around the Philippines, road trips, and car camping adventures. Remember that children immerse in the beauty of the great outdoors. Thank you for watching! Like and subscribe!